All right, Shalom. This is Gamali Allah. I have a great millstone in Atlanta. Giving all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone. Shalom to all the Akim that are pushing out this truth and sincerity. All right, uh, it's a quick lesson. All right, and uh, this is going to be entitled, It's Game Time. All right, um, now, um, the reason for this title is because, uh, you know, 2020 is heating up, man. Um, there's a lot of things in the, in, in the news, a lot of things going on. Um, mainly, of course, this coronavirus has been all over. I mean, you look on the news, it's, look on the news and social media, that's all you see. That's all everyone is talking about. Um, but the point being is that it's game time, man. Um, you know, uh, comparable to, uh, you know, a, a, a playing a sport, <clears throat> you know, um, you have a, a time, you know, where you're practicing, you're doing drills, you're doing different, um, uh, uh, you know, training and, and whatnot. But this is the time where <laughs> it's actually time uh, for, for the game to be actually begin. OK, um, you know, the time we were going to camp, the time we were, um, you know, getting into this, getting into these scriptures and, and you know, teaching, you know, that was just uh, a precursor to what's coming. Now we're actually, you know, starting, you know, the game is actually starting to um, begin. The, the seats are filling up, the, the you know, the um, arena seats are starting to fill up. The announcer is announcing, you know, and the Lord is getting ready to, uh, you know, let the show begin. Okay, so um, <clears throat> this is uh, Second Ezra 9. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I've told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to, vi to, begin to visit the earth which he made. All right <clears throat> now, um, these are part of the signs coming to pass. All right, which which is pestilence. All right, which is uh, World War Three. All right, um, you know martial law lockdowns. Okay, um, you know they're saying that any day now, basically they could institute a national quarantine. All right, where everyone, every city, every state will partake in a mandatory quarantine. All right which uh, basically means that you have to stay in the house, all right, until, um, you know, a, a particular time is, uh, you know, until whenever, you know, really it's indefinitely, <clears throat> you know, because they may say, oh, well, two-week quarantine, then they may push it back, extend it, you know, <clears throat> you know, and during this time, you know, they very well may be going through houses and seeing, you know, what they can find and, you know, <clears throat> You know, there's so many things going on. All right, so uh, it says, this is the time where the highest will, will visit the earth, which he made. Okay, now the Lord is, is getting ready to visit this earth. Okay, now it's very clear to see. A lot of people are understanding that we're, we are, um, you know, in the end times. A lot of people are starting to wake up to the fact that the Lord is doing these things. The Lord is is heating this thing up and he's getting ready to visit the earth. It's verse uh, three. Therefore, when the, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, all right, which that's what we're seeing. We're seeing uproars of the people. Okay, people are, are um, you know, rioting. People are, are you know, in, in all types of... Um, uh, uh, straits, okay, which straight is a uh, positions of difficulty, all right, which you're going to see a lot more. You're going to see people panicking. You're going to see race wars. You're going to see a lot more tension between civilians. Now it says, verse 4, Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. All right, so now these prophecies that are in the Bible, they were written, you know, thousands of years ago. OK, this is not something that, you know, is predicted on Simpsons and, you know, all these people look at uh, recent predictions or whatever. All right. The, the, the Holy Scripture is the only thing 
that you can go to. All right. Now, the Holy Scriptures is the only thing that, that you can really go to for understanding. Okay, this is the only thing that, that you know, you can um, uh, start to, to, um, to put, piece things together. Okay, as a matter of fact, let's get this. Um, Isaiah 34 and 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail. None of these shall, none shall want her mate, for my mouth it hath commanded, <clears throat> and his spirit hath gathered them. Okay, it says, seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. So this is the book of the Lord, all right? And we need to seek these things, okay? All right, and it says, none of these shall fail. What is what is none of these? It's talking about the prophecies, okay? It says, none, none shall want her mate, meaning these other books basically don't match up to the Bible. Uh, because whatever books, you know, are out, such as the Quran, such as, uh, you know, whatever these people read, so-called religious books, all right, they don't tell you what's happening. They're not gearing you and, and preparing your mind for prophecy, all right? They're not giving you true wisdom, all right? The true wisdom is, is the knowledge of Yahweh Shem Shai, the knowledge and wisdom and understanding, all right? It says, for my mouth it had commanded, and his spirit it had and his spirit, it hath gathered them. All right, so Yahweh Shai's spirit has, has gathered, okay, the elect. All right, and, you know, we're we're in these times, man. You know, like I said um, in, the, in the beginning, is, is this is game time, okay? Let's get uh, Romans, um, Romans 13, 11. All right. Romans 13, 11, and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than we believed. All right? So we know the time, okay? We know what time it is. It's game time. You know, like the lesson says, it says that it's high, that now is high time to wake out of sleep. Right now, all right, if you're watching this video and you don't know anything about Israelites, you don't know anything about, um, uh, you know, judgment, judgment of the Lord, all right, it's in your best interest to listen and to take heed, okay, because this is the time that the Lord is getting ready to judge the earth, and he's going to judge, um, I mean, he, he it's going to get ugly, man, it's going to get, it's going to get very, very serious, all right, and this whole coronavirus, all right, you know, if you're shaking up now, just imagine, you know, once this thing really kicks off, all right, we're only at the beginning stages, you know, this is only the beginning. This is, it hasn't even really reached its peak. All right, now, there is a lot of um, fear propaganda regarding this whole coronavirus. You know, um, it's starting to come out that this whole thing is really just fear mongering and, and um, you know, fear propaganda. Um, but the results are real. All right, the effects of it are real. All right, and you have what's called a domino effect. So even if they find a cure right now at this very moment all right the the effects are still are still going to shake everything up okay the the damage is done all right i'll put it that way the damage is already done okay the economy is going to take a toll people are still going to bug out all right the, things are not going to go back to normal all right because america is is vulnerable all america needs is is one knockout blow <laughs> you know one serious major event and all hell is gonna break loose right now it's still kind of calm you know it's still now of course um you know people are are you know on edge people are very um alert you know and and they're um uncomfortable all right because that comfort all pe all these people have known forever is is comfort Okay, but the, but slowly that comfort and um, that convenience is being taken away. You're not able to go hit the store and just go get whatever you want. You're not able to go, you know, get certain things. Everything is not as accessible. Now it says, for now is our salvation nearer than we believed. The, the night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Okay. 
It says the day is at hand. All right, <laughs> this is game time. The day is at hand. When you when you wake up in the morning, you play for a sports team and you've been anticipating the championship game. That day is at hand, and you're like, man, you wake up. You're like, all right, man. You know you, that tension. You get that. Uh, you get those butterflies. You get those um, <clears throat> those thoughts. You know, of keeping your head in the game and being serious, and you know, it's sobering. All right. It says, let us put on the armor of light. Okay, that armor of light is the spirit. Okay, the only way we can get out of this situation, and and you know, uh, uh, escape this so-called coronavirus dangers. And escape martial law in these different facilities is through the Spirit of the Lord. The Spirit of the Lord is going to have to deal with us, and um, and um, you know, uh, uh, um, push this thing, man. You know, I mean, uh, push push us through this thing. All right, let us walk honestly, as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envying. Okay. All right. This is uh. Let's get this. This is uh First Timothy. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is uh First Peter five and eight. Be sober. Be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Now, going back to my point, all right, of um, of uh, these quarantines, all right, there's a lot of um, things being rolled out behind the scenes that we don't know of. Now, there's no telling how, how long Esau has, um, Esau being the so-called white man, if you're new, um, there's, no, no, there's no telling how long Esau has been planning this and you know now we know that this is is confirmed that this is a, a bio bio uh chemical warfare all right this is a biochemical weapon all right this uh covid 19 all right and we we just saw a um a brother just posted in the group they have uh military vehicles all right with uh with uh lettering on the side that says covid 19 quarantine team all right, now they're going to militarize this, this, uh, these, these states, man. You know, the police state is coming. Okay, you know where, where, you know, there's not going to be any more um, uh, uh, moving around. You know, there's not going to be any more, um, uh, you know, just free movement. Okay. Whenever you, whenever, probably wherever you go, you know, an officer or something is going to stop you. Where are you going? Get your ID. You know, uh, why, where are you going? Why are you going there? You know, um, questioning you. All right. Uh, they're going to um, establish curfews. All right. So it says your adversary, is the, the, your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, seeketh whom, uh, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Now, the point is being sober. And vigilant. This is the time of being sober and vig vigilant. Like I said, when you're in the game, if you've ever played sports and you're and you're in a serious match, you are very sober. You're trying to focus. You're trying to stay alert, and you're trying to give your best performance. And that's how we have to be in the spirit: is giving our best performance, and you know, not not uh, uh you know, playing around, not um, you know uh. Just taking taking this thing seriously, man. You know we have to take this thing very seriously, okay? Because it's it's definitely getting real, okay? Um, like I said, the the threat of this coronavirus may not be that high. Um, it doesn't have a very high death rate, but the effects of this is real, okay? The the results, you know, the reaction, the reactions of it. Of this thing is, is very real and and they're going to roll this thing out and um you know uh let's see let's get um let's get habakkuk this is uh <laughs> one of our favorite scriptures in these times 
Habakkuk 2 and 1, I will stand upon my watch and will set me upon a tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. Verse 2, and the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. Verse 3, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Okay, now we're at the end and it's speaking. This is game time. You know, that's how that's how we know that this is game time is because everything that we've been talking about for years is starting to happen. And like I said, we've been we've been um rehearsing this whole time. Now it's time to put our faith into action. Now it's time to utilize our faith. All right. Now is the time that we actually are put to the test. Okay, the Lord is gonna try everyone. As a matter of fact, uh, what is that? That's uh, All right, let's get um, Ecclesiastes uh, 12 and 14 for the for the Most High. We'll we'll start at uh, 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. All right, and that's you know what we should be doing in these in these last days is is you know fearing the Most High, keeping His commandments. It says, for the Most High shall bring every work into judgment. With every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. All right. So that time of judgment is coming. The Lord is going to bring every work into judgment. Everything that we've been doing, he's going to take into account. So if you've been um, slothful, if you've been, you know, not taking heed and, you know, just bullshitting, then, hey, you know, it's not looking too good for you. All right. You read Ezekiel um, 3. You read Ezekiel 33. All right, it basically goes into warning the people. All right, and if that person does not take heed, then the blood is on their hands. All right, you know, but if that person warns them, then, you know, the blood is off of their hands. The person that warns the people, all right, the blood is off of their hands. All right, you know, so so this warning has been out. It's been going out. All right, we're, we're about to, um, you know, very soon. It's going to be famine of the word. You're not going to be able to go out. We're not going to be able to go out on the highways and byways and, and you know, preach this thing, man. You know, because the cities are going to be on lockdown. How are we going to continue to preach this thing uh, on the highways and byways, at least, all right, if this thing is on lockdown, complete lockdown? And we've been telling you. We've been telling you that it's coming. We've been telling you that there will be a famine of the word. We've been telling you that there will be a, a famine of food. Okay, there will be a... a a destruction from the Almighty. Okay, let's get a uh, John. I think it's John. Okay, this is a uh, oh Matthew Matthew ten and thirty four. Matthew ten and ten thirty four. I'll close up on this. Matthew ten verse thirty four. It says, "Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword." Now a sword is any instrument of destruction. All right, and the Lord is is not bringing peace on earth, as you can see. A lot of people don't really understand that it's the Lord doing these things. All right, we've been saying it. So it's in your best interest to get right with the Lord, all right, because the Lord is bringing that sword, okay? He's, he's bringing destruction. He's bringing the, the, the COVID-19 is a sword, uh, you know, or quote, coronavirus. That's just another name for it. That's a sword, okay? Martial law is a sword. 
Esau is a sword. <laughs> you know, all these things are, are used as weapons for destruction. All right, the Lord uses these things, disease, famine, all these different instruments of death as the sword, right? And the Lord is getting ready to roll out this place. And like I said, game time, let's go. Let's go, it's game time, let's suit up, let's get on the court, and let's give it our best effort, okay? All right, so, um, you know, with that, giving all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, and Kakudash, double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, Shalom.